Alright, what's up, Fire Monkey 12 here, here with Evil Awesome. We're going to do a Hello. bit of talking about games that are coming out that we're a little bit excited for. Which Just a little you? bit. Okay. Um, so, I believe this one's it's the Assassin's one you're more. Creed Syndicate. This is awesomely set in London. Finally, we all knew it was going to happen because it's the best country ever. I want the minifig. <laughs> I just what? want the figure. You just want the figure? No, I want the figure. Is that all? Nah, the game. The game should you, be quite good because I haven't played can, the last ones. You can buy a sword cane. It's a replica one, but yeah. it's the only legal one in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Can't buy it anywhere else. Yeah, just a just a word of advice for you out there. It's fine. It's great. So yeah, uh, hopefully it actually seems really quite cool. All the gameplay and all the especially the graphics and how well it flows, it looks really good game to play. So. I will definitely be getting that. Cool. Do you want to switch this over? Oh, Gears of War. Now, there's two two things coming out about this. There's the remastered section, and then they're going to release Gears of War 4. And, um, yeah, just to say I'm a little bit excited about the remastered collection. Playing through from 1 to 3 without anything on, and just chainsawing the bitch out of everything. I only played Gears of War 1 and 2. No, the horde mode. Played a bit of three, but um, horde. Gears of War was all about the horde. It was. You do the storyline, and then you just play horde. And the bow, the bow that the exploded bow was everything. Cool. Oh, that was so fun. I always pissed off my mates with that. <laughs> you just go fling, you're like for fuck's sake, Luke. So yeah, must. Oh, you just can't beat chainsawing on Gears of War. So yeah, very excited about that one. Um, what are we on next? Oh, I don't know. Battle Throne Three. Now, after playing two, and then suddenly it all go quiet, and then you had Renegade Squadron on the PSP, which was, was a massive letdown. They're finally bringing it back with this amazing-looking game. I mean, it's you. If you've seen the trailers, the graphics are ridiculous. Um. Yeah, can't wait for that. Playing, it's massive. I hope they've done the on play. Uh, I hope it's done multiplayer really well uh, because it's got the potential of massive multiplayer, as in like 16 upwards of um, multiplayer. So, what do you do in the multiplayer? Um, basically, in the standard game, game you try and conquer the <coughs> systems, and to do that, you go on to a world and you play Battlefront where you go in as a trooper trying to kill. All their ones like they've got a base of two hundred each, okay. and you can die as many times as you like. It just knocks off your side score. Yeah. The computer will take out a computer um, if you go off wandering and exploring the map. So it's time limited in a way. Uh, okay. But some after you kill like so many, you get to be a Jedi or a bounty hunter for a little bit and then when you them if it's based on the second one when you them the more kills you get as the Jedi bounty hunter or what whatever the special is yeah the longer you get to be them for ah okay mm. uh, but it's got the massive 8080s and then you they've got the grappling lines where you swing around and then if you do if you do I think it's the three laps around yeah. and take out an 8080 then um, then it, everybody inside it goes and they're like mobile bases on the Hoff map as well. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of potential there. I really hope they don't mess it up because it looks amazing. I might, I might get that though. I'll have, I'll have to have a look into it because I don't know much about it. Well, I've heard, it's it's good. heard it. Heard it. It's like it's so early on there. But yeah. Oh, so the new South Park game. If it's anything like the one they released before this one. It's gonna be a great game. Okay. It's gonna be an absolutely great game. As long as they don't change it too much from the last one, just add a different storyline. It'd be great, great fun. Oh, yeah, it'd be amazing. amazing. Well, we just hope they don't fuck it up because the stick of, I think it's stick of destiny. Yeah, yeah, it was, was a really good one. Yeah, some of the scenes from that was that was great. But it was the first properly done South Park game. Yeah. Alright, what are we going next? Mass Effect and <laughs> I cannot wait for this! <laughs> Mass Effect 3 ending was a disaster, but hopefully 
according to some people on Facebook, um, they are actually thinking of Mass Effect Andromeda to work slightly side by side Mass Effect series, causing them like some sort of contingency plan for them to like not lose the entire civilization, supposedly. Something to do with something called the Ark. So in other words, they're trying to make another game for their Basically, they're trying to save three. the Mass Effect trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, yeah, we screwed up with this game. It's hopefully, hopefully really quite awesome. Hopefully going to a different storyline to that bit so that we can keep making more for the franchise. Yeah, pretty much. That's what they can do. Because once and they're, hopefully get once they're actually, in yeah. this, like, some sort of, in this galaxy, um, they, they can potentially do whatever they need to do with it. Fair but enough. Then again... The creators do have a lot to try and to try and win us over, shall we say? Because <laughs> even though there was wrong endings of Mass Effect Three, all the other Mass Effects were actually were really good. But they fought back the Mako, so I think they've won everybody over. Goes, we got the Mako, <laughs> yes! <laughs> but anyway, that massive excitement I for Mass Effect. Definitely. Be getting From Mr. Evil the collector's game. edition. Guitar Hero Live, you will say us play this. You if will. everything goes yeah. to plan, we will play some Guitar Hero Live. Um, I will not be good. Well, we're thinking about getting some wigs and just generally doing a face cam to, to some tracks we really love. Oh my god. <laughs> Especially with the possibility that there's going to be some Revenge Sevenfold on it extra anyway yes meaning that there's always we haven't looked at the song list yet but there's already from the sounds of some good songs on there for us to rock out to so it'd be great fun yeah. and hopefully we'll see it soon next Black Ops Red. Spac Ops 3 yeah. as I like to call it um, I don't actually know much about this song. zombie mode is the main reason to buy it I think yeah, it's always been one of my reasons because it has zombie mode. But then, Advance War no, it's not, it is Advance War. Yeah. Advance Warfare then came out with zombies as well. So, but there was some sort of video about the. It's either new map pack or it's in Call of Duty. I honestly I don't know much about this one. Oh, massive yeah, battlefield battle. players. Yeah. Massive battlefield players. So, we haven't actually, I haven't actually brought a Call of Duty in ages. No, well, I brought it to see what it's like because my mate wanted it on PlayStation Four. He brought the DLC for that. I think the last one I got was Ghost. That was my DLC. <laughs> no, because because we both thought for whatever reason this is after a hangover um, that I had the season pass. I just goes, <laughs> oh yeah, click click purchase, and that was eleven quid straight on my bank. <laughs> I was like, you you just did that, didn't you? She's like, what? I thought you said you had the season pass. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> Still got to Oh, back. God. Dark Souls 3 face palm. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate face palm game for a lot of people. This is, I think... I think we are the, planning on getting this one. Yeah. I, I want to get this one. Just because I did... I think Dark Souls is quite. It's somewhat entertainingly evil and irritating. It's great fun to watch the people play it. Yeah. And cry um, so and we're scream. thinking about doing it ourselves. Yeah. With some face cam action <coughs> and just loads and loads should, of face bombing. Oh, should try and do like a race. Or a race to complete. Yeah. I think we should. Minimum amount of hours to complete it. Um, I know with Dark Souls, <laughs> it's not hours, it's days. <laughs> days. <laughs> days. A minimum amount of days. <laughs> I'm thinking weeks for this one. Days and edits <laughs> later on. <laughs> Might actually buy We'll it. have to plot the time lapse on it to show you how badly we're stuck on some bits. <laughs> we'll be there for Because we know days. you won't want to watch or <laughs> do it completely, so we might stream us doing it completely and show you the highlights on YouTube I yeah. think would be the best idea to do it yeah and also keeping a time lapse on either one so time check-ins at the end 
end of the video when we're cutting it. Yeah. Just so you know who's winning. Um, yes. Obviously. I don't know, it depends when we get all, how everything goes. Um, do we have another one? No. Nope. Nope. That's it. Alright, that was That's something a bit different from us. We were just talking about general games are coming out. Um, actually. Ooh, Tom Clancy as well. Tom Clancy, I think, is the Siege. Yeah, I don't really know that much about it. Let's see. I don't, but it looks really nice. Mm. Oh, just a quick heads up whilst we're here. Okay. We'll be at MCM London, fingers crossed, if we get sorted all out. So, if you want to come meet us, that'd be great. <laughs> just so many things to um, do. Well, we've got, we've got, I'll be dressed up as a Deathstroke. And, and what are you dressing up as this I'm going as someone off the irregular magic school, which is Shibia, uh, Shibia Tiktigaya, I can't even say We'll be it. in a group of us, yeah. and it should be good. Should be very anyway, um, as always, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, hit that like button for us, because YouTube's a bit gay. Um, it would be nice. <laughs> and uh, as always, subscribe, and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Peace out, motherfuckers.